So OpenAI had their developer day yesterday, and with that came a lot of exciting announcements, including text-to-speech, and that's what I'm going to be covering in today's video. I have gone over a lot of the other stuff, but since I've been doing a lot of text-to-speech on my channel, I'm going to cover that first. But don't worry, I will be doing other stuff for things like the DALI, the GPT-4, um, extended context windows, and all of those other things. But text-to-speech comes first. So with that, let's jump into the news and the update for OpenAI. And on their homepage, you can see there's two new ones is introducing GPTs. We'll look at a different day. And then there's this new models and developer products. And for me, we scroll straight down to this text to speech area. And you can see there are two different models we can use a text to speech dash one and then a text to speech HD. And it's surprisingly affordable. At this, it's 1.5 pennies per thousand characters. So if you do the calculation, 11 Labs gives you 30 or 40,000 characters. I believe it's 30,000 characters for $5. In this case, if you want to get 30,000 characters, you would be paying instead 1.5 times 30. You'd be paying 45 cents instead of $5 here. So it's about 10 times cheaper to use OpenAI's text-to-speech. And so I'll be going over some samples with some scripts that I made. And then in a follow-up video, I'll be showing how you can actually use the API in your own Python scripts if that interests you as well. But you could also use the text-to-speech without doing any code. And I'm going to show how that's available right now. So it's actually available on the app. Um, I have it opened up right here and just a quick little demo of it. If you have the app and you click on uh, the bottom right corner, you've got like a headphones area. It will open up a text to speech area where you can basically just have a chat conversation with the bot. And it's actually pretty good. It's pretty cool. And well, let's give a demonstration of it. So it's connecting. Hey, um, what is a good thing to eat for lunch today? Sure, I can help with that. What type of cuisine are you in the mood for today? Anything that does not involve dairy. Got it. No dairy. How about a grilled chicken salad with a vinaigrette dressing? It's a healthy and dairy-free option for lunch. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your lunch. So there you go. It's a little conversation that you can have with ChatGPT in the app. And then if you go into the settings, uh, you can change what voice it is. And they actually have different voices inside of the app compared to what they have via the APIs. But this is just a quick little demo of the phone app um, and the TTS on it. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, with that, let's go ahead, jump into the uh, the Python stuff. So as of right now, there are only currently six voices available that you can use for OpenAI, Alloy, Echo, Fable, Onyx, Nova, Shimmer. I've been playing around with Nova and I think it's pretty decent. Um, so let's listen to 13 seconds of a, of a selected text. And if you do want to listen to the other ones, the link to this page will be in the description below. As the golden sun dips below the horizon, Casting long shadows across the tranquil meadow, the world seems to hush, and a sense of calmness envelops the earth, promising a peaceful night's rest for all living beings. And so there's the output there. And um, one interesting thing is that the output on the website isn't actually as good as the output that it produces when you're using the model. So it's a little bit more hushed, a little bit more... Um, I'd say uh, lower fidelity on the website than when you actually get it back as a WAV file. And then if you click on the TTS guide, you, this will bring you to their documentation where it'll show you how you can use it and how to get it incorporated into code. But I won't be going over that at this time. So here we are. Um, I'm going to be using the Nova voice as specified before. And this script, um, when you run it, you can enter in a sentence that you can have it converted to text to speech. So let's go ahead, do a quick sentence, listen to it, and then um, we'll move on to another script that I have. So hello, thank you for watching the this YouTube video. If you found anything useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead, enter that sentence, and then let's take a listen to it. Hello, thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you found anything useful, please consider liking and subscribing. And so it's pretty quick, it's pretty nifty. And so this this is a simple little way that you could just ask the um, OpenAI API to generate a 
audio file for you for a text file. And this one's a, just a pretty simple script. Nothing's really happening too much. Um, and so the other one that I have is more of a chat bot. So um, I use, you know, my REM personality um, text for the chat bot. And then I have a bunch of other stuff in here that uses, um, you know, the whole chat completion workflow. And in this case, I'm using the GPT 3.5 Turbo um, that was released yesterday. So this one is a chat assistant that acts much closer to, you know, like chat GPT. So, so if I run this now, I can enter a text um, and it's going to generate a response that can be read back to me. So if I say something like, hello, how are you doing today? Chat GPT is going to generate a response and then it's going to read it up. I appreciate your kind inquiry. I'm doing well, thank you. How may I be of assistance to you today? If there is anything you need, please do not hesitate to ask. So now this is kind of more of the chat assistant, which is awesome. And so if I wanted to change the voice, let's go ahead and try out Alloy now. Let's do hello, how are you today? Greetings, I am honored by your inquiry. It is my duty and pleasure to be of service. As an Oni maid, my purpose is to attend to the needs of those around me with unwavering devotion. How may I be of assistance to you today? Alrighty. And so you could use the other voices that are in there. Um, you've got Alloy, Echo, Echo, Fable, Onyx, uh, Nova, Shimmer um, to change the voice. And then there is also the HD model. So if we switch over to the HD model, um, it's a little bit better, but in my experience, it's it's really hard to actually determine what the difference is between the HD model and the non HD model. So I just use the one as it's a little faster. And in this case, let's do the same thing. Hello there. How are you doing? Greetings. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. How may I be of service to you today? All right. And so, you know, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst and it's really dang fast. And so it does work really nicely into the whole open AI workflow if you have it already set up. Another thing that is kind of cool is that this is actually uh, multilingual. So, for example, if I say something, if I say uh, in Japanese, it'll respond back in Japanese as well, too. So let's take a listen to that. Yes. Must Jerry Deuce must dead. No must great tatis. I mean, you own to theta teske or srukering a man's chem. Or get in a head we stand where ram. All right. So that was actually kind of weird. I had never run into that before. Let me try that again. More share where my sin got. I'm by Shwa Anatinin Zomomu Hotondo no Tebaske or Shruksur no Dekimis. Ikigaruni o Sirasukas. Okay, so maybe the voice that I had been playing earlier, um, Nova, is better with Japanese. So let's go ahead and do the same one. Uh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Dono yoni o tetsudai shimashou ka? So that is much better than <laughs> the Alloy voice. So I guess I'll have to play around a little bit with that more. Um, but the Nova one is pretty diverse in its ability to speak languages. Um, so let me go ahead and comment out this personality and put in this personality. And this one is just you are a teacher that translates into 30 different languages. And then let's go ahead and take a listen to that. So um, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and run this and then say something like, hello, what's for lunch? So ChatGPT is gonna generate a response and then Nova is going to read out all of these um, different languages. Hola, que hay de almuerzo? Bonjour. Qui a-t-il pour le déjeuner? Hallo, was gibt es zum Mittagessen? Ciao, cosa c'è per pranzo? Hallo, what is there to eaten for the lunch? Privet sto na obiet. Konnichiwa, chilushtu anandeska. Ni hao, chishima. Annyeonghaseyo, chomshimenem buoshi smik. Morhaba mataam lil gheda, ola, uketein paru almoso. Chamkhana ni nini. Finish, mita lonaxi. Hey, what fins till lunch? Hey, va er till lunch? Hey, va er er till frokost? Namaste, lunch ke li kya hai? Turkish, merhaba, öle yeme ichin nevar. Greek, yasas, ti par hiyato yevma. Cesh, coyes na lunch. Czech, ahoy, coyena obed. Ahoy, coyena obed. 
Bună! Ce avem pentru pranz? Zdravejte! Kakvo ima za obiat? Sin ciao! Bucu o kozi hon? Swati, mi ahan tiang wan alai bang. Halo! Ada apa untuk makan siang? Kamusta? Ano ang meron para sa tanghalian? Kia ora hi ahate kai mote tina? So if you spoke any of the, those languages, uh, let me know how good it did. Of course, that's just one um, phrase. But as you can see, it is multilingual and um, it does... I would say it sounds decent to me, but you know, I'm not a expert in any of those languages. So that is um, going to be the little showcase. And I'm sure I'll find some other things about this uh, text to speech, text to speech model that is um, odd or that is different. And okay. So I did just do this one more time with the alloy voice and it did all of the lines just fine. So I don't know what happened earlier when I tried using the alloy voice for Japanese. Um, it started messing up. But yeah, this actually sounded good. So um, I believe the other models can also do other languages as well. We're probably trained on other languages there. So that's going to be the end of today's showcase. If you want to see the video where I show you how to actually use the API, that'll be coming later this week or a little bit early in next week. So please consider following the channel if you want to stay up to date. Um, if you found this useful, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I have memberships open if you want to help support the channel. And that's going to be it for today. See you later, guys.